Man, would you look at that pink diamond Jason Richardson right here, ready to be evolved, finished grinding him out last night. This is going to be my very first Galaxy Opal on the year, the very first Galaxy Opal that I'm going to have in my lineup. I grinded a bunch of games out, a bunch of stats as you guys can see. He's going to be getting all these stat upgrades on the right side of the screen. He's going to be getting himself some new badges as well, and I'm not even excited to play with him. You know, Typically, I would be evolving this card right here. I'd be going online in my team unlimited. I'd be getting some gameplay for the channel. Just be getting gameplay in general because I'm excited to try out this brand new Galaxy Opal that I'm gonna have in my lineup. And it's just so sad because honestly, the last thing that I wanna do right now is play a game of my team unlimited. So real quick, I am gonna evolve this card just because you know it's been sitting here for a while. I do wanna evolve this card. So boom, there it is, bro. Our first Galaxy Opal. I mean, it looks great, you know. The card art is dope this year. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty dope that I just got a Galaxy Opal from grinding out the game, even though, you know, the grind it is a lot. But hey, it's rewarding. If we go over here to my lineup right now, I got my first Galaxy Opal on the squad. You know, the lineup is looking clean. It's looking dope. And on top of that, I go over here to the My Team Unlimited screen. I see that they added a pink diamond Amari Stoudemire for the monthly reward card. Living in Arizona my entire life, growing up watching the Phoenix Suns, I should be so excited that they put a pink diamond Amari in the game, that this is gonna be the free monthly Monthly reward card. I should be so excited to grind up my 12 wins right here, get this card on my squad as well. But the last thing that I want to do is play my team unlimited. The last thing I want to do is play anything gameplay wise when it comes to NBA 2K20. And that's a huge problem because that's what I'm grinding all these cards for. You know, like I'm not grinding these cards just to stare at them. I'm grinding these cards out to play with them and have fun online. So instead of making the Galaxy Opal Jason Richardson gameplay today, instead of, you know, trying to go 12 and 0 for that new pink diamond Amari Stoudemire, who I should be insanely hyped about. Instead, I'm sitting here insanely frustrated with NBA 2K. And I know a lot of you guys are as well. Like I'm just straight up getting fed up with this game. You know what I'm saying? Like typically I don't do rant videos. I try to keep my channel insanely positive and I'm still going to try to keep this video positive, but I just try to put out positive content. I try to make fun videos. I try to make entertaining videos, but the fact that I'm not even in the mood to do that because the gameplay it's so bad right now i think that's saying something and this is coming from someone who made it through 2k18 who is uploading videos in 2k18 when i was getting a significant less amount of views in 2k18 saying that i made it through 2k18 and it's literally the start of 2k20 this game hasn't even been out a full month yet it's almost a month but still hasn't been out a full month yet and i'm already getting fed up i'm already getting this feeling that i don't want to play in my team unlimited i don't want to play the game online i don't want to do anything when it comes to 2k20 that's really bad so instead for today's video i figured you know what i might as well voice my opinion i don't have the biggest platform but maybe other people will hear it maybe this video will get shared around just to get the community talking just to i don't know maybe open up some people's eyes maybe someone will be listening i just think the most frustrating thing right now is that there are changes that could be made if they just listen to some people within the community i feel like so many of us have some good ideas now don't get me wrong there are some people that just 2K should just not listen to when it comes to updating the game or changing gameplay or anything like that. But I think for the most part, a lot of these changes are very obvious. I'm not asking people to change any crazy mechanics when it comes to the game. I know they changed a bunch of with the system with like dribbling and how badges affect animations. Like none of that I'm asking to change when it comes to this gameplay. And I don't think that's what most of us are asking. We don't necessarily want this game to be like 2K19, even though 2K19 gameplay, it was pretty good. I'm fine with playing a completely new game. I'm fine with getting a fresh start, learning a new game and all that. But when it just seems like clear fundamental things when you want out of a basketball video game and 2k isn't giving it to us even after we're complaining and complaining and complaining that we're just not getting this at all i just feel like that's an issue so for today's video i'm gonna invoice my opinion i think there's like five things easy i don't want to say easy but very doable changes that my team can make in order to make this game mode pick up because we got great content within the game this year we have amazing content if we had these evolution cards and just this offline triple threat rewards and stuff like that last year, like my team was great last year. Just think it would have made it even better, but we have all this great content this year, but this game mode, it's literally dying out a month into the game, all because the gameplay, it's unplayable, it's horrible, it's frustrating. So I'm just gonna get right into this. Okay, I wrote down five things that I genuinely feel that 2K could make a change to, that they can make a fix to, that they could tweak 
you know what I'm saying? They could change some sliders here and there. They would take my team as a whole to a much better state because you guys, I'm seeing on Twitter, I'm seeing people frustrated. I'm seeing people quit this game. If you guys look on YouTube, views are just down across the board when it comes to my team. I got people in my comment section saying they're not even playing this game on anymore. They're like they still tune in the videos, but they can't even play this game. They can't stand it. So I'm going to get it. The first one, most important, bro, these games, we can't even complete my team unlimited games. Okay, you'll be playing. I don't know if it's when people call timeouts. I don't know if it's when people quit by dashboarding. I don't know if it just randomly pops up, but a little tell you that the game cannot be counted or there's server issues when in reality your internet's fine. I've seen people win the game and 2K will give them losses, okay? I've seen people win, they go to the screen and it gives them a loss. The fact that you can't even play an unlimited game and not even know if you win the game, if you're still gonna get the win for it, that's an issue. We either paid $60 for this game or we paid $100. And throughout the year, at some point, whether it's for your micro or it's for your my team, you're gonna put a little bit more money into the game, depending on how much that is, depends on the person. But eventually we're gonna put more money into the game, right? So just the fact that you've put out a game and not only did you put out the game that can't be played, it's been a month later that we've been having these issues and they're still not fixed. Like, I'm not gonna get too much into errors and glitches and people not getting their reward cards, like all that stuff. It, it, it should just be working in general, you know what I'm saying? Moving on to number two here though, okay? This is when I really get into just the gameplay itself. I'm talking about sliders and stuff, percentages that can be changed. These are all things that we could see that will honestly make it much more enjoyable for us. Contested shots need to be nerfed, okay? We're in a state of gaming now where we are extremely competitive. We take gaming very serious. Back in the day, gaming wasn't that big of a competitive thing. You know what I'm saying? Esports weren't really a thing. Obviously gaming was fun because you wanna use your skill up against someone else or just playing up against a computer, whatever it is. But you guys, it's 2019 here. You want to be rewarded for your skill in a video game. You wanna be rewarded for doing something good and your opponent doing something bad. You want them to be punished for it. I've been seeing clips all over Twitter. It's happening to me and I know for a fact it's happening to you. Contested shots are going in. How does that make any sense? How can anyone play good defense and a 100% contested shot go in? How are you gonna be like, oh nice, good shot buddy. You know what I mean? Like that's just not how it goes. What is the 250K tournament gonna look like when that comes around? When someone is playing good defense on you, they force you into a horrible shot and you make that shot or your opponent makes that shot. You know what I mean? Like how, how does that showcase skill? If someone plays good defense, if they put their hands up, if you get a 100% contested shot, 98% contested shot, whatever percentage, if that contest shows red, that shot should never go in, okay? We wanna be rewarded for playing with skill and if you're gonna sit there and be like, dude, in the NBA, people hit contested shots all the time, watch the NBA then. Okay, if that's what you wanna see, watch the NBA. When you're playing a video game, you wanna control the outcome. If I don't have any control over the outcome, if my contesting a shot doesn't affect the outcome of a shot, why am I even playing? Why don't I just watch the computer play each other? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the point of having the control in my hand and pressing triangle or pressing the right stick up? Okay, so for the people that are like, oh, dude, it happens in the NBA, then just watch the NBA. This is a video game at the end of the day. Okay, we're trying to play a video game here. We're not trying to watch a game. That's a huge one, especially my team. I don't even know. Like, I, I just feel like they only cater to park when they do these patches. I feel like I'm not sure if people in park are experiencing this much of an issue, but that's why this video is geared towards my team gameplay. Moving on to number three here, okay? Inside defense needs an overall rework and it needs to be buffed, okay? So what do I mean by that? I could be playing great defense on a guy, right? Let's just say that Giannis drives in on me. I get a great contest on him. I jump up in the air at the perfect time. I got length. Let's say I got Bob McAdoo on him, a great defensive power forward right there. I can test his layup. It gives me 100% contest. He mistimes his layup. It's very early. What is the point of contesting a layup? if it's gonna go in 100% contested, okay? This kind of goes back to the jump shot thing, but that's not the only issue with inside defense. That's not the only issue because other times I'll have a center, let's say that I got Artis Gilmore, really tall, right? Look at his height right here, 7'2". Let's say that I got Anthony Davis on me. Anthony Davis is like 6'10", 6'11", something like that. I don't know exactly, but let's say that he's guarding Anthony Davis in the paint. I got my hands up, right? I'm, I'm doing the right stick up. I'm holding down the left trigger. I should be getting contested. Anything that he puts up in front of me, I should be contesting. This dude puts up a layup as if I'm not even there, 12% contested. Goes in. Like, I just feel like you cannot play defense inside. Nothing is consistent about inside defense. It doesn't make sense. There's even point guards out here that are sneaking layups right next to freaking centers 
not even not even getting a full head of steam, not even getting anything. They're just going up with it. And it's like 12% contested when I'm right there. I'm right there. Once again, we want to be rewarded for playing good. Skilled players want to be rewarded for forcing someone into taking a bad shot. Defense needs to be rewarded. There is no defense in the my team game mode right now. And honestly, I could get in the blow buys, but I feel like a lot of that frustration is just coming from the fact that it's so hard to contest shots. Once again, I'm not saying that I want 2K19 gameplay. I'm fine if 2K20 gameplay feels different. It's great to be able to play a new game, learn a new game. I think it's great for the community to not get the same exact product every year, but at the same time, fundamentally when it comes to a basketball game, you gotta reward good defense. Now moving on to point number four here, the fourth change that I think could very easily be changed is the fact that bad time shots shouldn't go in either, okay? I'm tired of seeing someone get a very early either layup or jump shot because those go in as well. Very early time jump shot, very early time layup. Yo, those like, this goes back to the skill thing. And it's so frustrating. And this is how I know that they don't play their game. Because how can you be playing a game and see a dude take a mid-range jumper with a hand right in his face that says very early and it goes in? <sighs> what? These are all reasons that are adding up to me just not even wanting to log on to the game to play Unlimited. And if there's a little bit of randomness, okay, it is what it is. But overall, the amount of randomness and RNG within the game, if you guys don't know what RNG is, it's basically, I think it stands for Random Number Generator. But basically what it means is you don't want too much randomness when it comes to a competitive game because if everything is random, how is that competitive? You know, like you don't see someone or you don't see five people on a slot machine. It's like, okay, whoever gets the first jackpot, they're the most skill at the game. No, that's all luck. This game has too much luck. It has too much randomness. There's not enough skill within the game. We want, we just want to be able to control the outcome. So do not reward people that take a very early shot. You know what I'm saying? Make someone learn their release. Now scrolling down to number five here, I'm sure a lot of you guys might've expected me to say this one a little bit earlier. Maybe you guys would expect it to be a little bit higher on my release, but there's a reason why I'm gonna put it at number five. So the fifth change that I think that we need to see when it comes to my team gameplay, it has to do with open shots, okay? And at first, when I first started playing this game, I thought that we needed to like buff this insane, you know, like open whites, full bars, whatever you guys wanna refer to them as, basically shots that aren't green, I just felt like they needed to be increased a lot. But now, the more I play the game, I'm starting to realize, I think it's just frustrations that are coming from all these other shots going in. So like when you get 100% contest on someone or when someone shoots a very early release and it goes in like bounce back releases, all those stuff. It seems like bad shots right now are being more rewarded than good time shots. And I think that's where our frustrations are coming from. I think that's why we wanna see open shots be buffed whenever you get full bars. But overall, I think that they could use like a little bit of a slight buff, but if we were to change one through four within the game, I don't think open shots would be that big of a deal to us. I think that we could live with the way they are now because when it comes to getting a green release, there is that skill gap because with John Stockton, I'm able to green like a, a lot of shots in a row with him. As long as I get the timing right, I know I can green my shots, but it's the fact that we're shooting wide open jumpers and they aren't going in and then someone else can take a contested jump shot and that goes in. So that's why we're sitting here saying, oh, open whites need to be increased. When in reality, when it comes to my team gameplay, once again, I don't know how Park is. When it comes to my team gameplay, if we were just to reduce all those other shots going in, you know what I'm saying? I, I think it would actually be kind of dope. I think it would be kind of cool, you know? If you don't get a green light, hey, it's kind of up in the air whether or not that shot's going in. As long as these other shots that don't take any skill aren't going in, I think it would be a lot of fun. It would be a big change for 2K19 because you guys remember, for 2K19, you could pretty much tell, even if the shot wasn't green, as long as you timed it right, as long as you got a full bar, it was pretty much guaranteed to go in if you were wide open. So maybe that is gonna be the fun part about 2K20 gameplay, but right now, y'all, it's it's just not fun like I, I don't want to play unlimited the only thing that i could really see myself playing is single player triple threat and i hate playing against the computer like i absolutely despise it but that's the only game mode that is somewhat functioning because i know some people aren't getting the rewards but it's just sad because every year the reason why i started a youtube channel is because 99 percent of my uploads as you guys can tell they're gameplay videos like i like playing online i like matching up against someone i like you know going back and forth with skill i like that five on five gameplay but when games can't even be completed when heavily contested shots go in when inside defense doesn't even register or it doesn't even matter when bad time shots are going and all that stuff and then we can't even make a wide open look like all of that adding together is just not 
an enjoyable experience, okay? So whether or not 2K20 is watching this, I just hope that people in the My Team community, this will open your ears, this will open your eyes, you know what I'm saying? Voice your opinion, go on Twitter, tweet at Mike Wang, tweet at other people in the community, tweet at LD2K, tweet at whoever you guys can tweet at. We need to get this My Team gameplay fixed because this game mode is literally dying when we have such great content this year. I know I don't have the biggest platform, but even people with huge platforms with a million subs, hundreds of thousands of subscribers, 2K isn't even listing them as well. So. I don't know bro, I'm just gonna try to do my part. I feel like all these changes I listed, you don't gotta change any mechanics when it comes to the game. You just gotta change percentages. You know, if someone's in the vicinity with their hand up, if it gets contested, then just don't make the shot go in. This game, it can't be an exact replica of what the NBA looks like in real life. Like, we have to be able to control the outcome. If we wanna watch basketball, if we wanna see people hitting contested shots, then we'll watch basketball. But for so much of this game right now to be RNG, for so much of it to just be random, the skill gap is just not there. People that are bad, that are taking bad shots can beat you if you're taking good shots all game. It, it's looking like we're gonna get 2K18 again. It's looking like this is 2K18 2.0. And if you guys know anything about 2K18, if you played it, it's the worst 2K of all time, hands down. So the fact that they went back to some of those fundamentals, it's very scary. It's a month into the game. I'm gonna voice my opinion on this. I'm gonna be proactive about it. I'm gonna let them know about fixes. I'm not just gonna say 2K fix your game, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually giving examples. This is what they say they want. So I'm giving examples on what needs to be fixed, what needs to be changed. I know for a fact, a lot of you guys are gonna agree with this. A lot of you guys wanna see these changes as well. For sure, like this video, for sure, share it around, or at least take some of these opinions. If you guys agree with them, let them know. You know what I'm saying? Just tweet them at 2K and just be like, hey, this is what I wanna see different. You know, don't just say fix your game. Actually let them know, you know what I mean? Even though we're not as big as the park community, we need to be heard as well. This game mode, it is unplayable. It is literally unplayable. Really bad right now, it's not looking good. It's going downhill very, very fast. I think it's dying out even quicker than 2K18, which is an issue. So yeah, man, 2K, look at it. Five changes, easily, easily can just be impacted. Change your slides around, change your percentages. Please, for the love of God, get rid of these air screens. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>